Hello YouTube, welcome back to the next video in the Beginner's Guide to Roblox Scripting series. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make Roblox wait before executing the next line of code. So sometimes when you're scripting something, you're going to want to wait a few seconds before running other code. So for example, maybe you're scripting like a time bomb and it's got to wait like 4 seconds before it explodes. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make that wait 4 seconds part. So first, we're going to start by creating a script as always. So right click server script service, click insert object, and then just type script and you have your script and you will see a print hello world. So as we know, this thing, it puts hello world on the output and the output you can find by going to view and clicking output. So if I play the game, it's just going to print hello world. Okay. So what I'm going to teach you now is the wait function. So wait is basically a keyword that makes Roblox wait a certain number of seconds before executing the next line of code. So I'm just going to type wait, I'm going to type three. And what this does is it basically waits for three seconds. So all you're doing is typing wait, parentheses, and three. And this number inside of these two parentheses right here, that is how many seconds Roblox is going to wait. So as you can see, it says yield the current thread until the specified number of time. So that's just technical blah, blah, blah for just wait three seconds. That's all it means. Just means wait three seconds. So this is going to print hello world. Then we're going to wait three seconds. We're going to print something else. We're gonna print, let's, let's print goodbye world. So all this is going to do is it's going to print hello world. It's going to wait three seconds. Then it's going to print goodbye world. So if I click play, we got an hello world. Three seconds later, we've got goodbye world. That is how the wait function works. And if I change this to like eight, it's gonna make me wait eight seconds before printing that goodbye world. So I'm gonna wait. So I see my hello world right here. I'm just gonna keep waiting, waiting, waiting. And there's my goodbye world. So that is how the wait function works. So let's learn, let's try to use what we learned last time inside of our wait function. So last time we learned about variables. So we're gonna say local num seconds to wait equals eight. So if I want this wait eight to, instead of be eight seconds, if I want this wait eight to be num seconds to wait seconds, I can just take this variable and I can put it inside of that wait. So now it's gonna wait the number of seconds to wait variable, which is eight. And what this allows me to do is I can just change it right here. I can change it to five and this will wait five seconds. So we got our hello world and goodbye world. So once again, all this is doing is we're making a new variable called num seconds to wait, we're setting it equal to five. So now whenever I say num seconds to wait, it's gonna think of five and I printed hello world, then I printed num seconds to wait, which we said was five and then goodbye world. So that's all that's happening. Okay guys, so that's how you use the wait function. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next part of the series.